guys, welcome to General Hospital MV, my GH after show, coming at you on a Tuesday morning. I'm sorry, I know it's really late. It has been a crazy, hectic week in my household. For those of you that don't know, my room pretty much got destroyed by some tree roots getting to some pipes. I'm in what's left of my room right now. But the good news is it's getting fixed. People have been in and out of my household all week. I do miss vlogging in there. I had like privacy. I could just get my thoughts out and be as loud and crazy as I wanted to be. The past few weeks I've had to like sneak around and kind of just put my camera wherever I can, like now. Try to shoot when people weren't coming in and going out of my house. It's nighttime right now. My grandmother's upstairs watching TV, and so I thought I'd come down here in what's left of my room and just talk about GH with you. It was, after all, a very short week in Port Charles, New York. I think because something strange happened last week. I don't know what it was. I'm Canadian. Okay, but short as the week was, they packed a bunch into it. So we had Maxie and Nathan's wedding, freaking finally. After months and months and months of like planning this wedding and all the postponing, we finally got a Maxie and Nathan wedding. And it didn't take place in someone's living room. It didn't take place at the floating rib. It did take place in a hotel though but they made it look beautiful. They brought back Rob and Scorpio, and we had Mac and Felicia on our screens as a couple again. We had a recast Spinelli, which was a little bit weird. We had flashbacks of Maxie and Nathan's entire relationship. There was just two things about the wedding that I just thought was just very strange. So Lucy Coe was supposed to officiate the wedding, but she got stranded at an airport. Everyone goes into panic mode, and I'm sitting there like, wait a minute, you got Griffin Monroe, an actual priest in the crowd there. And you got Max Scorpio, who did Robin and Patrick's wedding. Robin's like, hey, we got Spinelli though. And I'm like, well, okay. It is weird because it's a recast Spinelli and I know that it wasn't Bradford Anderson's fault. He just had a conflicting schedule and that's fine. But it just, it's weird, right? So anyway, he did the wedding. It was all good. They got married. The other thing that doesn't sit quite right with me is that we know that Claudette is alive somewhere. We saw on our screens that Valentine made Maxie and Nathan think that Claudette is dead. So when she eventually does come back, that's possibly gonna make their marriage null and void, which I'm like, ugh. At least I think that's how that works. It's a soap opera though, I don't know. Speaking of Valentine though, we kinda sorta get a little further in Valentine and Anna's story. Anna has this flashback. Can you not see me? Or can you just not bear to look at me? Valentine was the hunchback of Notre Dame, or the Beast in Beauty and the Beast. But I'm sitting here like, Anna's not that shallow, so what is the rest of the story? I haven't actually watched Monday's episode yet, so shush. I'm gonna watch it right after. Griffin finds out that Claudette is dead. Dead. He decides to drink his sorrows away and then he goes out to the deck of the Metro Court restaurant and confronts Valentine. But Valentine overtakes him and Anna has to pull him off of him, slaps him, and Valentine turns into this quibbling. The heat just turned on. Valentine turns into this quivering, stuttering, like whatever he used to be, I guess. Ooh, but I gotta take it back for a second because while Griffin and Valentine were fighting, Griffin said, Wow, it's loud. Griffin said, you killed Claudette. You killed the only mom Charlotte knew. And guess who heard it? Charlotte. Charlotte runs to this little storage room in the Metro Court somewhere. Lulu follows her. And Lulu decides to take the opportunity to tell Charlotte that she is her mom, her real mom. I, uh, look, I want Lulu to have her daughter back, but she is being like the most annoying person in the storyline right now. She is not using her brain. She is a Spencer and she is acting like the complete opposite of a Spencer. When will it end? This is obviously only gonna cause more grief between Lulu and Charlotte anyway. And I'm not here for that story. I wanna learn more about Valentina and Nana. I don't care about Charlotte. I really don't give a damn about Charlotte. Or Lulu. Valentina is obviously a little bit crazy, but he is not the only crazy person that has an issue with Anna. We learned this week in an absolutely shocking reveal that Olivia Jerome is alive. Was that convincing? So yeah, Olivia Jerome is the one pulling the strings on Julian Jerome. Now, I haven't watched the whole Olivia Jerome story from back in the day. I heard she was pretty ruthless and kind of had like a weird obsession with Duke Lavery, Anna's deceased ex-husband. But when she pulled out that shrine of Duke Lavery with all those pictures of 
her face on top of Anna's face. I was like, oh, she's that kind of crazy? I don't know if I'm here for that kind of crazy. Poor Anna. But I tell you one thing, I am here for this story if it brings Duke Lavery back from the dead. I know it's a total so cliche to bring someone back from the dead, but I miss me some Duke Lavery. But I want Anna to find her happiness again, and I want Griffin to meet his damn father already. On a cool note, they used an actual flashback of Anna and Olivia from back in the 80s. And I gotta say, the fake flashbacks with Anna and Valentine, Vanola doesn't look that different, does she? That woman is ageless, yo! So once again, I'm sorry that this video is so late. Obviously, the next... I don't even know how long. The next few weeks are probably going to be a bit all over the place for General Hospital Envy. So if you want to see when I have a new video out, please subscribe. You can also follow me on Tumblr, Melt Into The Night. You can add me on Instagram, see what I do and get up to in my personal life. That's also a little bit crazy at the moment. I'm a total disaster, but it's okay. I'm going to start making some other video blogs too soon, so stay tuned. You know, once this whole situation gets fixed. But I will catch you guys next time. See you later.